We're in Windows 8.1, Windows Blue. I'm going to show you the Task Manager. So once you're in the desktop, right-click on the Task Bar and then click on Task Manager. And from here, we can see the different applications that are currently running. But we want to see more information than that, so we're going to click on More Detail. So now we see something a little bit more familiar. We see the different tabs that run on the Task Manager. So from here we have the processes. These are the current applications and background processes that are running on the computer. And you can see both the process CPU that it's using, memory, any disk percentage, and network usage. A lot more useful information than the previous task managers. Click on performance. You can see CPU in the live graph. Click on memory. This is the overall memory usage rather than individual usage and internet traffic. App history, you can see the various different applications that have been opened. Startup, this is what will start with the computer when the computer starts up. We don't have anything in there. Users, this is who's actually logged into the computer and what kind of resources they're using. I'm the only one logged in. Uh, details, these are the executable files that are currently running on the computer that make all of the applications in the process tab work. And under services, these are the services that are running that certain applications use, not all of them do. So one interesting thing here, if you go to processes and you right click on any particular process, you can click on go to details. Now this will take us right to the details tab and show us what this particular process is tied to. So right click, click on go to details. I'll do that again there. Go to details. There we go. And it's showing us the executable that is tied back to that process. Now we can right click on that again and we can actually see if it's tied to any service. And it jumps right over to service. So this way, when we are in the process or details or services tab, we can see how they all relate to each other. And if we end one process or one executable, how it also can stop or affect the services that are running in the service tab. Now, if we go back to processes, we can also add additional columns just by right-clicking anywhere on here. And you can check any one of these additional options here. We can click on Publisher shows us who the software publisher is. We can click on the ID, process ID, and you can match that process ID to any process ID under details. You could do the same thing. This, here it is right here is the PID. That matches up to the PID over here. And if we right click again, we can go to the process name. We can also click on command line as well. So there's lots of extra things that we can do. This is the actual command that made the process run. And each one of these different tabs has additional columns that you can add as well. So that's an overview of the task manager in Windows 8.1.